Right, so this is the first video. I'm trying to get the some of the front of this car off. Um, I've already taken various bits off bonnet, and there was a kind of a steel, uh, no, aluminium it looked like, uh, member, which is probably some kind of impact bar that had obviously been ripped off. Got this section here. I've already removed one of them from this side when I was at the scrapyard as well. Um, just need to get that off. Got to be careful about the air conditioning unit. Aircon is, I think, all still intact, even though the radiator has taken a whack. Um, so I need to be careful about that because that'll be pressurised. Um, see if there's any water in the radiators, get that drained off, and see how much of this front of the car I can get removed so I can get at that uh, engine that I need. Spent about an hour this morning getting bits and pieces off the car. Um, main things really, the main radiator, water radiator, had obviously been punctured in the accident. That had no fluid in it at all. Uh, I've taken the charging units off the front. These are all actually in good nick. Not been damaged in the accident, so I can reuse those, which is excellent. Uh, unfortunately, the air conditioning is still charged, um, so that didn't get punctured in the accident. Uh, I've removed a few other bits and pieces, a few braces and that, but I think once I've got the air con out of the way, we'll be pretty good to go to uh, trying to get the motor out. But um, I'm going to need to get it professionally um, emptied because I'm not really sure what the, what the gases are in there, but I bet they're not very nice and I should probably get that done properly, really. So uh, it's going to be on hold for a minute until I can get somebody out to do that. So about another hour in and, well, I'm there to be honest. Uh, everything's out the way. I was wrong about the air conditioning, it wasn't charged. Um, it had a little bit of residue in there, but um, when I pressed one of the valves, nothing more came out. So that's excellent, it means I've managed to get everything out of the way. Um, got the battery disconnected, 12 volt permanent supply is disconnected. The aircon, which is attached to the side of the engine now, the pipes are disconnected, ready to pull out. All the cooling pipes are now disconnected, the charging pipes disconnected, and even the main cable, data cable that goes to the unit is all disconnected. So actually, the whole lot is disconnected, ready to lift. But I'll be honest, the drive shafts are in there. I'm not really sure what to do. Um, I don't know how to detach it very easily. Not without taking the wheel off, jacking the car up and just being a pain. So part of me is thinking I might just cut them off. But uh, I'm going to do a little bit of research online just to see if that's, you know, a bit OTT for it. Um, but uh, those are the only things left in both sides. Uh, take the engine mounts, uh, undo the engine mounts. I should just be able to lift this pretty much out as it is. Um, I'm sure it won't be that simple when I come to it, but, um, well, I'll let you know. Taken a few more bits off the car this morning. Just the underfloor skirt here was kind of all hanging off and broken, so I've taken that off. Um, more significantly, I've jacked the car up now um, so I could take the wheels off. Um, mainly because I tried to cut the tried to cut the drive shafts and um, they're obviously toughened steel. And uh, whereas I was thinking I'd just quickly hack those off, uh, that was a non-starter. Not going to hack them off in any time soon. But it doesn't look like it's a complicated job to get them off. It does simply look like once the wheels are off. Um, undo this uh, split pin, take the cover off and there's a bolt under there that I can use my um, air compressor uh, impact wrench to take that off and there's a take the arm off here as well, again impact wrench will take that off spin this out the way, uh, spin the whole wheel to the right and uh, should be able to knock the drive shaft out um, it's been fun and games, uh, the locking wheel nut here I couldn't find the actual adapter for it because I bought the car as scrap um, eventually found it actually in the car just sat right on top after I'd looked in every compartment, every glove box. Um, it was just sat right there waiting for me, so that was a bit silly. And, um, and my air compressor's not working, so I can't actually use my um, impact wrench at the moment to get that off. But once I get a replacement next week, then that'll be good. I'll be able to get those off, get the drive shaft out. Now, the only other complicated thing I don't understand at the moment is the engine mounts are one there, one there. That's very straightforward. But there's an engine mount at the back here. And that's, I don't know how to get to it, to be honest. So I'm going to do a bit of research, see how I can get to that to get it undone so I can pull the engine out. There's obviously the high voltage cables as well, which must plug into the back of the motor somewhere. And uh, I need to discover that, but I'll probably be able to disconnect that as I start to lift the motor out. And so still some discovery to do, but making progress. And uh, hopefully maybe next weekend, once my new air compressor arrives, I can uh, start to lift the motor out. So subscribe and uh, I'll post some more videos as I get some more work done.